Jesus doesn't see your limitations. He sees you. Are you ready for some good news? Though everyone else passed by, Jesus saw a man who was blind from birth. That, that's what we learn in John chapter 9, verse 1. As he passed by, he saw a man blind from birth. He didn't see a disability. He didn't see a beggar. He saw a man. He saw a creature made in the image of God who would one day dwell in eternity with Christ and his archangels and all of the saints. Other people just saw a, a cast off, a, someone who was discarded from society. Jesus saw the man. I, I've been learning a lot and practicing a, a simple practice, a, a prayer. Jesus, how do you see this? If you just pause, in the midst of your daily routine and say, Jesus, how do you see this person? How do you see this situation? And now in the midst of a global crisis to say, Jesus, how do you see this? He'll lend you his eyes. In 1999, two psychologists uh, performed an experiment that they had no idea would become one of the most famous in our generation. It was a simple experiment was they videoed some of their students three wearing white t-shirts, three wearing black t-shirts. And the people with the white t-shirts were throwing a basketball to one another, the people with black t-shirts throwing a basketball to one another. And participants were asked simply to count how many times do the people with white t-shirts pass the basketball to one another. Now the correct answer was 15, but that wasn't the point of the experiment. The point of the experiment was to ask participants afterwards, did you see anything else interesting in the video? For example, they said, did you see a gorilla come and walk into the middle of all the passing of basketball and then walk out? And what they done was that someone dressed up as a gorilla walked right into the middle of all the people passing the basketball, thumped his chest a little bit, and then walked off, off of the screen. And what's fascinating is about 50% of people in 1999 and ever since who take this test of the invisible gorilla, about 50% don't see the gorilla at all. It's fascinating. Because sometimes when our attention is really focused on one thing, we miss another reality that's right in front of our eyes. Jesus never did that. Jesus always saw what was important. And I just encourage you during these days of pandemic and quarantine to ask Jesus for his eyes and say, show me what is really important and not let me miss the important thing. Jesus saw a man when others didn't even see him. Ask Jesus to lend you his eyes. He'll show you the gorilla in the room. And that's the gospel. Well, that's today's good news. And uh, you can get more like it by clicking right here. Or better yet, if you haven't done so yet, subscribe. And be sure and start out every day with good news. Have a great day.